I called him in the morning. I said, you know, where's your parents? And are you, going, are you not going to school today? He said, no, he's not going to school today. And then the parents are there, Oshudi, Makati I said, okay, let me take you to Oshudi before I go back to Shilon. I was living at Shilon Street then. Then he said, no, he's not going to Oshudi. Ah, where are you going to stay? In one word, they decided to get rid of Shino. Then I told them, human beings are not orange. Whereby you suck the water and then throw it with the other. No, I said, no. You cannot do that to Shino. This is the boy that stood with you while your girl was away. Therefore, whatever be the case, let's have endurance. And they said, no, they will not. I would have loved to say yes. But there's no way I will, I, I will do such thing without carrying my agent along. You know why? He said, yes, it is true that he has formed a label. But he's not going to record on his own label. He will continue to record for a book only thing. And other artists will be recording for his own label. I say, how can an artist recording for your label and you are not be recording? How do you promote the label? The best thing you can be recording on your label. Then we go on our own. To that level as well. We bought 14 cars for Sashino Adewale's band. All the boys and Shino himself and uh, Shegun himself. The total number of the cars was 14. One day we bought it at Niduma Motors at our road. I don't want any controversy again in life. Enough is enough. You go and sleep over it. But I will not be a party. I brought you together. But I will never be a party to separate you. In other words, what I say, Shino Peter, you want to be have your band? Adewale, you want to have your band? That's what you are what you are saying, the, the meaning of what you are saying. I cannot separate you. Yeah. General Prince Adekunle. You know. I said much before, I said I'm still coming back to Prince Adekunle. Now I am back to it. In 1971, one big incident happened. Adekunle was involved in a ghastly motor accident at Bolade Oshodi. When I heard about it and when they come and call me that Adekunle was at the Bobi, at the emergency ward, when I got there, they put about three or four people, they were there on the lot. <laughs> the people at Prince Adekule, the popular musicians, of the, uh, they, 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 they are the people, they are there. They were, <laughs> I couldn't recognize Prince Adekule by the face. It was the leg that I looked, this is his leg. I was calling the nurse and the doctor, the other, please help me take it up. He's a popular musician, they say, they, they know, but there's nothing they could do about him now because he's unconscious. If somebody is conscious, they can apply any medicine, but he's unconscious. And I look at him. Ha. When he breathed, it was blood gushing from the nose, ear, and mouth. I was crying, calling the doctor. What can we do about him? There's nothing we can do. We should go and pray. I ran back to church and informed. Our papa, prophet, I give him a lot of shibi. This is what has happened. I don't know whether he can survive this. Oh. Papa was, look what he said, he will survive it by the grace of God. We put it into prayer. Luckily for us, that evening, we're having a special prayer in the church, which we need to use a candle each, every member. Then we announce it there. Everybody was worried. That candle that everybody held in the hand, we are all asking for Adekunle's survival from that accident. We are all praying to Adekunle, please God, uh, put, uh, put him back, uh, let him back to normal, save his life. Everybody, everybody, till the candle burns down, they will put it down. The next day, then I went back to Gobi. He has been taken off from where it was. Then they put him on the bed. 
the other two people, they said they've gone. The doctor said, well, we cannot be cleaning everything because they can see him breathing. That, that, that breathing is not a uh, normal one, but at least they can still take care, more care about him now. Then they started doing... The next day, we went there. He has opened the eyes, but he cannot recognize anybody. I stood there by his side bed, talking, but couldn't even answer. But at least he has been coming back to life. Gradually, we go back. We went back, we started praying, but asking for his life, asking for his, that God should revive him, God should send him back. This. Within a week, he has started sitting down on the bed. Started recognizing people. Then we thank God that uh, he has been coming back to life. Meanwhile, there's a problem. The band boys will be scattered unless they are together playing in order to have a living. Then I arrange them to come back together. For me to be leading one, uh, the octave for singer. That to be leading them, then they started playing all over places. That's how we sustained the boys. So whatever they have money, they share it. They, so the band wasn't scattered. It was in the process of this, Shino came and helped them. And people thought Shino was Prince Adekunle's son. I'm still coming back to Shino Peters. It's another... <laughs> uh, a story by itself, but just that how Chino came into the band because Adekule wasn't around, he was hospitalized for the accident. Then Chino just went to them to play. Then, when Adekule got better, the sister in London said we should prepare him to come to London to have more medical care, which we arranged. When he got there, the doctor who first of all looked at him, examined him, and he said that God is wonderful. He has never seen things like this. Because in, the, in, in his brain, the, uh, the way he saw it, even if he's alive, it he, 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 he shouldn't be normal. But that he survived it and still normal and said, ah, said, God is wonderful. He has been in this job for many years, but he has never seen this case. It was after the accident, he did give us this day uh, our daily bread. We are going out today for our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day, Father, our daily bread. And he did a lot of record. Part of it is this. This is a uh, Kayema she wao, Kawama kagbako, or by Ledu Mareo. So many hit releases that he released. In 1975, then he did one reti ele. Prince Adekunle is somebody that God really loves. Uh, he's now a pastor at uh, World Bible uh, Church at Kitu. He's a pastor now, and we thank God for his life. That he survived that, and so he, he showed his gratitude to God by being a pastor. Preaching, he will talk about himself, what happened to him, that he's still living. He himself will be an example for, for people that there's nothing God cannot do. So, I think uh, Prince Adekunle, uh, we call him Kokumo Adekunle. Uh, and he had no alone. So I thank God for him to be alive. And uh, I think sometimes ago, he did 72nd, 72 bad day and the first three. Uh, I wish him many more years on earth and useful to God as well. That's about Prince Adekunle. Uh, I said I'll be coming back to. Shino Peters, but how he joined Prince Adekunle before he formed his own band. Now, 
like I said, Prince Adekule had a ghastly motor accident in 1971. He was hospitalized. Then I don't want the band to scatter. I had to call them together and ask the octave voice singer by name Ulufemi to be leading the band. Ulu, uh, Yellow Luwale was a captain of the band. He agreed with me and they started playing in order to sustain themselves and to keep the name of the band together. I mean, band of General Prince Adikule. One day, Shino Peter went and joined them to play. That's how he uh, just uh, play with anybody. Just like that. Then he was there. He was only 12 years old. Then he picked the guitar. The guitar was taller than him. Wrestling with guitar, this and that. Ah, ah. Everybody was there. They are clubbing. They, in fact, they spent money for them. They made a lot of money that night. Then the following morning, they came home and then they told me what happened in the show. Then they said they are going to play at a Western Hotel at Idioro, where Ladebu, Ladebu Hotel. I said, okay, I will, shall be coming to see you tonight and see uh, all what you said and to confirm it. Then I called a journalist friend. We went there together. We got there around uh, 11 o'clock. I, what we, so we cannot, we thought that we were going to leave about two or three. But we couldn't leave until the following morning. <sighs> because the way Shino was dramatizing with the guitar, <sighs> acrobatic, <sighs> everybody was spending money. We too who went, we too, <laughs> it's not only looking. We went and spent money as well. We waited till five o'clock in the morning. I had in my mind that this small boy is supposed to go to school. Well, then my journalist friend said, look, Mr. Kazim, in order to use as publicity stunt, what we shall say is that when Prince Adekule was hospitalized, his son came and leading the band. I said, well, you know what, you are a journalist. I don't know about that. Then he used the story in Lagos Weekend that Shino Peter's Prince Adekule son has joined the band of his father. That was how Shino Peter, son of Adekule, that's how, that was how the, the, the going around at that time. Well, I called him in the morning. I said, Shino, Where's your parents? And are you going? Are you not going to school today? He said, No, he's not going to school today. And then the parents are there, Oshudi, Makati Lin. I said, Okay, let me take you to Oshudi before I go back to Shilon. I was living at Shilon Street then. Then he said, No, he's not going to Oshudi. Ah, where are you going to stay? I said, He hasn't got any. <sighs> okay. When I was doing my interview, the captain was pitching me that I should not say much, as he will run away again. <laughs> then I didn't say anything again. I asked them to bring him to my house. Then they brought him to my house. I interviewed him. He said he was in modern too. And he wanted to play music. The parents said they want him to go to school. Then he ran away from home, started playing music. I said, at that point in time, where do you want to go? He said, we sleep in the hotel there. Can you live with me? He said, yes, he will live with me. Fine. He started living with me. We were, we were at uh, Shillon Street. We moved from Shillon Street to uh, Park Road. Everybody thought, uh, it was my son at uh, Park Road because we moved there together and, and all my brothers and everybody we were all there. Now we started playing back with Prince Adekunle. Then Adekunle, well, like I said, after coming back from UK, he started playing. At the Park Road, he will go with the band. Then when the band and they play, then they will bring him back home. 
and his dues they used to pay to his their manager uh Demola Jomali. then he has a pass blue for him which they are saving his money to along the line the other band boys they didn't really like him they are saying that he's too proud is this is that they were <laughs> Then when I saw this uh, problem going on among them, I called them to a meeting. And I said, look, this is a chap that helped you people when your master was hospitalized. Now your master cannot come in now and said, you have to endure it. You'll be enduring him all along. Continue to endure him. They said, I've just said my what I want to say. They will not want him. They want him to go. This and that. <laughs> I call Prince Adekule. Prince Adekule cannot say much because, in fact, uh, the band, what he met there, he was just trying to align with what happened down. In one word, they decided to get rid of Shino. Then I told them, human beings are not orange, whereby you suck the water and then throw away the other. No, I said, no. You cannot do that to Shino. This is the boy that stood with you while your guy was away. Therefore, whatever be the case, let's have endurance. And they said, no, they will not. Then they told Adekule to Adekule then agreed with them. Then Shino says one day he came, he showed me a letter of uh, suspension. He said, you always, you are, they only suspended you. Uh, you have not been sacked. If they sack you, uh, hey, I know what to do then. Eventually, sir, it was get rid of the band. There and then, I decided now that, okay, because I, I was the one who asked him to stay on and I cannot leave him at that point in time. Leave him, will he go back to his old self or what? Then, uh, I had a public relations manager by name you are me, Davis. Then I call him. I told him the whole story. Then he advised, if that is the position, Adekule can be on his own. Then Shino Peter will set him up. We will not allow the boy just to go away. We will see. And then, this is a work we start. I said, okay, if that is the position, can you go to the parents and interview them and give them the address? Then they can come to me in the office because I didn't even know their parents, the children's parents at that time. Then he went there and brought in the story that according to uh, what he got there from the parents, they said Shino's name used to be Isaac Olua Shino Peters. He was born on 30th May 1958 at number 6 Makati Lane, Oshodi, to Pa Emmanuel Peters and Madame Victoria Ashake Peters. Uh, you know, Mama died recently. And they mentioned how Shino was born, the, the, the vision, the message. How is, well, we put everything across to the public again. Then we started talking. They, they decided at the Adekule's bar that he should go. There and then Adekule came back to me and said, Although the other boys, the Western brothers, want Shino to go. But since I don't want Shino to go, you will still stay on. Well, if I go on, you cannot set up Shino every day. You still have to come back to you. Then I call Shino, please go back to your girl. Shino was. I said, well, no problem. If God said you are going to be on, you will be. But now there's something we can do. You have to go back. There and then, uh, Sheikh Gwadiwale has started playing with uh, Prince Adekunle. Then he joined them. They were all playing together. Then until we heard that Prince Adekunle too himself want to form his own label, Ade Adekunle Records, that he wanted to be recording and releasing by himself. Well, when we got this information, then I told Shino about it that did he say, say yes? He has heard about it, but he didn't want to tell me. Ah, well, if that is the position, what you plan before is what I will not stop Adekunle from having his own labor. He can start his own. Why we see what to do about you? 
because you cannot live, 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 live in cold. You have to do something about you as well. The Adekunle, I sent for him, he came. He said, yes, it is true that he has formed a label, but he's not going to record on his own label. He will continue to record for a book and other artists will be recording for his own label. I say, how can an artist recording for your label and you are not be recording? How do you promote the label? The best thing you can be recording on your label, then we go on our own. He left that day. Then we decided now that we have to do something about Shino. You know, I told you before that um, we had an agreement with Daffoli Equipment in Italy. Then I went to Italy, I got a musical instrument, and uh, we, come together, we came together, then we set up Shino. I know that uh, we need publicity in order to put Shino to the limelight. Uh, you know, I told you about uh, my senior at Uluwa, uh, Mr. Tunde Savage, uh, TLS at the Daily Times at that time. That you want promoting Miss Nigeria every year. I thought that Papa is going to give me a lawyer or ask me to bring the agreement down. Then we we'll look into it and then return it back there. Papa agreed that he will be he will be going there with me for us. I mean, this is very important. That is your business. That's where you are having your livings. So we have to make sure that we we'll protect it. So when you want to go, let me know. I will follow you there. To have the agreement done that is part of those things that papa <laughs> and if there's any legal matter in the business baba is going to stand out to be with me it's not they will not charge a cobble make sure that the many cases that we won and when one of my son was doing wedding. We first of all went there that we want to know the two families. We didn't inform Papa. It was Papa's son, Adibayo, myself and the wife. And somebody else. We went there. When we got there, <laughs> they said I know other people see coming. We said yes, they are coming. And the wife place, they have already got a lot of people down waiting for us to come. And the only four of us, <laughs> then they ask that, since we don't see your people that are coming, let us start doing something. I say, ah, well, we, we started introducing ourselves and the rest of it. Then we tell them that, okay, during the wedding ceremony itself, uh, our papa will be here, will follow us. Then you know whom we are talking then Papa was leader of Yoruba. They were shocked. There and then, we launched the, the band. Um, and we went to the studio to record verse 1. The name of the band is Sa Shino Adewale. We used two names. Together, that is Sashino Peters. We took Sashino there. Shegun Adiwali. We use Shegun's surname, which is Adiwali, and call it Sashino Adiwali and the Superstars International. That's how we come about the name of the band. Lest I forget, as part of our plans and promotional aspect for Sashino Adewale's band, we realized that uh, all Ebenezer Obey's boys, they're having cars, and uh, all Kinsona Adewale's boys, they're having cars. So it was, I mean, the eighteen at that time, that the boss is using car, and the boys, all the boys, they too, they are using cars. Is part of the image building for the band at that time. There were the only two people that, that's Obey and Sonny. Then I realized in order to bring them together up to that level as well, we bought 14 cars for Sashino Adewale's band. All the boys and Shino himself, 
and uh, Shegun himself. The total number of the cars was 14. One day, we bought it at Niduma Motors at Alpha Road. We did Fast 1, Fast 2, Fast 3. But Fast 3 was the most successful one out of the numbers. And it did just come and inside success because there's a reason for that. You know, that time was a time uh, uh, Max, uh, Mike Smith beat Muhammad Ali. And then when they were interviewing uh, Mike Smith, he said, Ali is the greatest. I am the latest. Then I had this. I was, I was amazed. I love about it. I said, look. Then I called Shegun. I said, look, Shegun, I want you to go and do a composition. Classify the musicians. Like I can do father musician. Today, I gave father musician. Every day, I Fabi, young musician. So, on the other day, young musician. Daily, I build young musician. Prince, I young musician. But she, I do the youngest musician. That is, uh, at least the greatest, but we are the latest. I'm referring to them as all these people, they are great people. But we are the latest. And the public accepted it and they held it. Hence the success of the album. In the other number, that first three stood out and still sell up to today. Uh, where they were going everywhere in the north. The other time did a lot at that time to promote the band. They kept to their promise. In 1979, the success of the boys, they came out and then, hmm, uh, they really shook the, the music industry. There was a lot of, uh, rev uh, a lot of problems, heaviness. To the extent that they too sang it, it really happened. Then some people was talking to Chino. You are the leader. Why then why can't you be singing? Then some will ask Adewali. You are this you are the one singing. Why can't you play guitar? To complete your, your, your singing career. Then they're having this thing among themselves. So when they go to anywhere they play, she don't want to sing. They will not be cooperating with the guitar. Then during the yeah, we see that's in between them it was not uh easy again. One evening the both of us came to me. And said, she now said, uh, I want to be singing in the next album we're going to do. And I only said, I want to be playing guitar at the next album. I said, the way we have been doing it, don't you people like it? And people outside, they, they love it. And that's why they love you. Why do you want to bring this type of things in now? Cooperate among yourself. Don't let, you know, exactly two years. We started in 77. We, and we talk about it, they were, they were both adamant. I said, well, this is what we shall do. You go and sleep over it. But I will not be a party. I brought you together. But I will never be a party to separate you. In other words, you want to say, Shino Peter, you want to be have your band. Adewale, you want to have your band. That's what you are what you are saying, the, the meaning of what you are saying. I cannot separate you. So I want you to go and think about this and let me hear the result. But meanwhile, like we have discussed before, where you are living, I wanted to develop the place. Uh Shino, you said you have got a house at five I know in Leco Street. At Maryland. This is the check for the flat there. Adewale, you two said you have a place at Agege. This is the check for that. Go hard to add it up to what you are doing there. They were out, they thanked me, they both left. 
Well, I called them again later that what's happening? I didn't hear anything from the two of them. Well, what can I do? I sent for them. Maybe we we'll... anyway, at the end of the day, she now went his way. Adewale two went. Later he came back. That they want to continue from where they sat there, where, where, where they left. But I, I wasn't just too uh, enthusiastic to, 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 to continue because the way we are becoming, I love it and I want it to continue like that. At the end of the day, a lot of things happen which I don't want to mention. Uh, we, I allow them to be on their own, but I never record any one of them. Later, Adewale came and I said, look, what we shall do now is to form your label. Continue to record on your label. I'll now be selling it. It's not going to be on Wekadev or Montmorency's, but Montmorency may be selling it, but let it be on Shegun Adewale label. That's what I can do for you. For Shino, well, I wish him well, wherever that he is. Well, Shino used to phone me and thank me for what I've done in the past because that time was when she was age of 21. You know, I told you, he came over to me. I took him up from age of 12. And at age of 21, uh, that was in 1979. He was born in 1958. In 1979, uh, he went to his house at 5 I know, Street. So well, that's uh, how the separation came. But later we have still been talking and I still be talking to two of them that I still want the two of you, even if you cannot join together to do at least the work that you have done in the past. Can you come together and do the video? I am not asking you to be playing together, but at least the recording you've done in the past, let us put it and put it uh, and add video on them. We are on that now. They have never given me answer. They said they will be thinking about it and then they will write the script and send the script to me. So I haven't seen the script up to now. If, if I see the script, then especially first three, we shall record it in video where people will see it and enjoy it and other numbers that are there. Uh, I have to talk to my agent. You know, music has drastically change to what you see as music. I'm on that an agent. They handle all my corporate affairs. If I can talk to them, if they can allow me. So let's draw the, the contract and let's see how it goes. But I have to talk to my agent first. I would have love to say yes but there's no way I will, I, I will do such thing without carrying my agent along you know why because to God be the glory let's fix the fact I don't want any controversy again in life enough is enough i don't know where people will see me as we are mutin motion mutin murami no my own i'm a powerful dresser and at the end of the day we are a woe a woe a a a fair press shed money or shed no a a woe a woman for your press you know it's a there are lots of things to find to before we can go further. If not, let us be. If they are laughing at that, we turn on them by only kind of question. Baba Memo, he knows better. If a guy decides today that, well, I am a dear one here, well, well, like he said, come and collect. This is 10 million. I know this is not the amount that's supposed to be given to you. Each and every one of you must collect 100 million.
But do me that favor. I want you to do an album. Video that uh, uh, verse 3, 2, 1. Do all three. And let's see what we... But... <laughs> So much is given, much is respected. That is it. Thank you. They did eight records together. Fast one, fast two, fast three, fast four, fast five, fast six, fast seven, and a watch up fast eight. So for Shino Peters, uh, it has been a good story. And I'm happy about his, uh, his status today in the basic industry. Uh, God has been very merciful. And is doing well. Adewale too is doing his best. At least for, for, for both of them. At least they will never forget me in their history when they are writing history. So I too will continue to remember them as one of the one of the one of the good things God used me to do here on earth. I wish you no Peters good luck and more more successes. And I wish everybody Wale too more successes. Uh, and for people to still enjoy together, to remember the old days, if they can do uh, some of their numbers in video, people will enjoy it more. So God bless you. Thank you very much. That's all about Shino Peters, my good son. <laughs>